welcome back to Solo Flower University. Today we are going to be going over how to soften your wood flowers. The importance of softening your wood flowers is actually helps prevent them from breaking. Um, something that you can see with our flowers is that um, before they are softened, they're actually quite fragile. And in some of your flowers, you can actually see um, sometimes little rips and stuff just that happen in shipping naturally. And what we're going to do today is we're going to dip them in a softening mixture that will help make them a little bit stronger and a little bit more resilient to uh, being knocked around a little bit. <laughs> um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with two cups of warm water. I just warmed my water up in the microwave um, to just about boiling. Um, you know, when you stick your finger in, you can definitely tell that it is warm. And we are going to also be using a vegetable glycerin. The vegetable glycerin um, is just something you can find in your grocery store or you can also find it on Amazon. I got a whole gallon's worth just because I know that I'm going to be doing a lot of flower dipping. But as you will see in this video, you really don't need a whole lot to get started to even dip, you know, a good 10 to 20 flowers. Um, what we're going to start off with today is actually um, a half a tablespoon is what we're going to start with to start uh, mixing it in. With this half tablespoon, um, we're going to try different amounts. Usually, I kind of just go by feel how much is in there. Um, but today, I wanted to be a little bit more exact, especially for those out there who are trying to reproduce this and trying to figure out how to, to make this work. And so we'll start with half a tablespoon and see how that does and go from there. All right. Now I am mixing it up. To You want to just make sure that it gets all nice mixed in really well. And once that is mixed in, then we're going to go ahead and grab a flower here. Um, testing to make sure that it's about where I think it still seems a little bit... I think you can't really feel it in the water with half a tablespoon. But we'll go ahead and dip the flour in anyways. And so when you put the flour in, it's pretty simple. Just dip it in, shake it off, and make sure it gets covered in all the different spots. And you can see here that when it's wet, it's actually a lot more pliable than before it's wet. Um, and then I'm going to stick it in this eggshell carton. Eggshell cartons are actually really great for drying flowers. They are just about the perfect size and usually you have an abundance of them and you can get more a lot and so they're really convenient. We're going to go ahead and try more glycerin especially since you can hardly fill it in the water at all. I'm going to probably add another tablespoon's worth um, just because that's probably because um, there's not really a whole lot in that water. So I'm going to go ahead and add that now. All right, I'm going to add more, that second tablespoon. Mix that up. Make sure when you're mixing that you get everywhere and just that it's all nice and mixed in together. All right, and now I'm gonna test it to see if that feels about right. That feels about, that's usually about where I have it when I dip my own flowers in there. And we're gonna dip this flower in, make sure that you get everywhere if you need to, you know, get the underside, shake it off. And then right now is actually the perfect time to um, fluff your flower to make sure that it looks the way that you want to. So you can go around and kind of adjust the petals. Um, if there's petals that are coming, uncurled you can curl them back up um uh, petals that are a little bit squished you can kind of shape them and then set it to dry now we're going to add um even more just just for scientific fat uh sake we're going to add another tablespoon just to kind of see if um that seems like too much or just right um and so I'm going to mix that in nice and well, making sure I mix everywhere. And then after that, um, I am going to grab another flower. 
when you are dipping this flower in, make sure that you really get everywhere. And this flower is so big, I actually needed to turn it upside down to make sure I got everything. And then we shake it off, uh, make sure that we get all the liquid off. And then again, just kind of fluffing and shaping the flower in preparation for using it in a display, in a bouquet or arrangement or whatever we end up using this flower for. But just making sure that it's fluffed and looking the way that I want to, especially since when it's wet is the best time to do that. And now I am going to go ahead and set that flower to dry. All right, so this is the next day and I wanted to show you how we did. This is the one that had the most softener in it. You can see that it is fairly soft. Oops. <laughs> Um, and it seems to be doing fairly well. Um, this is the one where it's about where I like it. Um, you can see, really, you can see the difference. Let's see. That one's kind of soft, but you can see how this one is more crackly and this one is more soft and it doesn't have that dry crackle anymore. And then this one is the one where we put the least amount in and it feels kind of dry. So if you're gonna do softener, I would suggest maybe doing one of these two amounts. Um, this one is definitely a lot, is definitely really soft, and this one is definitely soft too. So it's really up to you how much you want to use. This amount works, this amount works. It's really up to your preference, and you'll find as you work um, what your preference is. All right. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget to subscribe and stay creative. See you.